This video is sponsored by Classic Football Shirts, the best place to get your classic and vintage football shirts. To get cheap retro palace shirts, click the link in the description below. And for an extra 10% off, use the code CFSPJ10 at checkout. Hello and welcome to the e of Palace TV YouTube channel. I'm Fonsa Greenbrew and today I'm bringing you a preview to this weekend's game against Huddersfield at John Smith Stadium. Crystal Palace faced a relegation six-pointer at Huddersfield Town this weekend after a tough run against the Premier League Big Guns. Narrow 1-0 losses to Tottenham, Manchester United and Chelsea leave Palace without a win in two months and now face a team four points ahead of them in the table before Liverpool come to Sellers Park on March the 31st. Wilfred Zaha is expected to start as Johan Kabay and Ruben Loftus-Cheek also return to full training to give Roy Hodgson a triple boost after a torturous spell of injuries. With Bournemouth playing West Brom and Stoke hosting Everton at the same time, the relegation picture could be very different come the end of the day. In regards to team news, Roy Hodgson has been boosted by the return to training of Ruben Loftus-Cheek this week. Johan Kabay, Wilfred Zaha and Mamadou Sakho have also trained this week, as has Julian Speroni whilst Conor Wickham played 20 minutes for the under-23s in midweek as he recovers from his knee injury. Scott Dan, Bakary Sacco, Joe Ward and Jason Punch have all remain sidelined. Roy Hodgson's pre-match press conference is now available to watch on the channel. Click the R button now. In terms of my predicted lineup, I've gone with Wayne Hennessy in goal, with a back four of Pacha Vanano at left-back, two centre-halves with James Tompkins and Mamadou Sacco, with Aaron Wambasaka at right-back. In the midfield, I've gone with Luka Milivojevic and Jason McArthur just in front of the defence with Wilfried Zaha and Andrews Townsend on the two wings. And up front I've gone with a partnership of Alexander Soloff and Christian Menteke. The latest e Crystal Palace podcast, where I review the game against Chelsea, is now available on the channel. Click the R button now. Don't forget to check out and download my weekly match review podcast late in the week for all this weekend's reaction. So thanks for watching, hope you all have a good weekend, and hopefully Palace will win all three points. All that's left for me to say is, remember to, up the Palace!